Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that uh, if the 50 kg load A is uh, hoisted by a motor M so that the load has a constant velocity of 1.5 meters per second, determine the power input to the motor which operates at an efficiency of uh, 0 0.08. I mean, yes, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our uh, 14th edition by RSC Bella. Let's draw the free body diagram. So we do have the weight like so. Then let me also section this in advance. I section this. Okay, like so. So we expect we expect some tension forces in there. We have that one like so. Okay. We have that like so. Okay. We have that like so. Okay, and we have that. Right. So let's call this T t there like so and then this is still t here we have t like so and this just becomes 2t and this is w okay. so you want to solve this in two ways from the perspective of uh, the load and uh, the motor and we know that power itself is just equal to the work done okay divided by time and work done itself is just a force times the displacement and cosine theta theta being the angle between the force and the displacement vector divided by time and this we can also write it as just equal to f cos theta and uh, displacement displacement and time we have the speed velocity right so what do we do here? So what we'll do is, like we said, we are going to solve it in two ways. It's really up to you to choose which technique is okay for you. So there we go. There we go. So let's call this as SA. Then let's call this as SM. So we'll have SM plus 2SA equal to L. Therefore VM plus 2VA equal to 0. Uh, we have VA equal to 1.5. Right. And it's going up. And we'll have Vm going in this direction. It's going in this direction. And this equal to 2Va, which is just equal to 3 meters per second. Right. Um, let me just push it in a bit. So we are saying this is Vm, which is just equal to 2Va. And this equal to 3 meters per second. So with this information, um, we have been told that velocity, velocity is constant. Okay, and therefore, the acceleration the acceleration ay is equal to zero right so we have motion of course in this direction 
all right so let's call this a y okay so let's work out this from uh, uh from the lord uh perspective okay so what do we have so we know that our p is just equal to the power is equal to f cos theta v and our f here is just equal to 2t which is equal to w and our w is just equal to 50 by 9.81 our theta is just equal to 0 and our v is just equal to va which is just equal to 1.5 here for power is equal to uh, 50 9.81 cos 0 degrees by 1.5 therefore the power out just get 50 by 9.81 by 1.5 I this we get a seven thirty five seven thirty five point seven five watts. Okay, and uh, let's find the, the the power in. So we know this efficiency is equal to power out divided by power in, and this is point eight equal to seven thirty five point. 75 divided by p in p in therefore you just equal to uh, 919 point uh, 919 919.69 watts Okay, so there we go, we are done with this one. Let's work this out from another perspective. So here we say from the perspective of the motor from the motor perspective. Okay, so again we do have the power is just equal to we have the power which is just equal to f cos theta by that and our f is just equal to t and we know what t is t is just equal to w over 2 right and our theta is just equal to 0 degrees and our V is equal to Vm, which is equal to 3. Here for P will just be equal to 50 by 9.81 divided by 2 cos 0 by 3. And our P out, we just get the same, which is just a 735.75 watts and then we know that the efficiency is just equal to p out divided by p in this is 0 0.8 equal to 735.75 divided by p in p in therefore is just going to be equal to same value which is just 919.69 okay uh, 69 watts all right i guess we are done we have found the power input uh, which is uh, equal to 919 
0.69 so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like the video continue subscribing and uh, sharing my channel bye bye and i'll uh, see you in my next uh, screencast